I don't remember much of this. That's my limp body rolling down the grassy hill, but I was barely conscious. Good thing, I guess. I'm sure it hurt like hell when my head hit the gravestone. Truth is, I'm pretty sure I died. Yeah, died, died. <gasps> For like a minute at least, uh, maybe longer. <coughs> it's hard to say how long, really. Hard to tell time when you're dead, I guess. I'm in a graveyard. I see above ground tombs, ornate headstones, statues. There's an angel, an angel statue. Uh, uh, come on, brain, kickstart. Huh? Is that my voice? It's horrible. Who the hell am I? How did I? <gasps> I'm on my hands and knees. It's an office, I think. Just a sliver of memory. Whoever kicked me lands on top of me. I see a blurry fist, then a hypodermic needle. Whatever's in the syringe is a nasty yellow. Hold still, bitch. I blink. And I'm back, kneeling in front of a crypt. Soaked through from the rain. All I've got are tiny fragments of memory, but I know this. I really am supposed to be dead. I duck behind a nearby head marker. The old boneyard is full of mausoleums, crypts, weeping stone angels and other fancy headstones, but I spot an old pickup moving through the front section of the cemetery. It comes through the wrought iron gate. Above the gate, letters reversed. I can read the words, Dunhill Cemetery. The pickup parks behind what I guess is the caretaker's cottage. It parks between the cottage and a big shed. Whoever left me for dead, I don't think it was this guy. He's like maybe in his 50s, with a small pot belly and a thin beard. He looks kind of sad carrying his lone paper grocery bag up to the back door. Some kind of caretaker or something. I need somewhere to think. Somewhere out of this rain. This part of the cemetery seems older. There are a bunch of old crypts and I try to open the granite door of one. No luck. A little way downhill from here, I see a larger crypt. Like a mausoleum, I guess. It looks really old. Kind of falling apart. The door hangs open a bit. Maybe enough for me to squeeze through. But there's an iron gate blocking the way. <gasps> There's a car with rowdy teenagers tearing down the road outside the cemetery. I sure can't go out there. Someone tried to kill me. I wrap my hands around the iron gate and put my foot against the stone frame. Until I can figure out who wanted me dead and why. Uh, I'm gonna have to play dead. Graphic Audio presents Cemetery Girl Part 1 The Pretenders by Charlene Harris and Christopher Golden.